What's up guys, it's X2Robbie2x here, and we're back with some Minecraft modding made easy. Now, before I start, um, sorry for not putting out that many videos lately. I got into the, the Old Republic, the Star Wars Old Republic Early Access, and I absolutely love that game. I mean, I've been playing it, like, non-stop. It's really addicting. And, I mean, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my excuse for absence. But, um... This tutorial is going to be kind of short, but it's, it's I think it's going to be pretty pretty informative for some people because I've been getting asked this. And this is going to be how to consume items on use or how to set durability for items on use. So let's go ahead and look at this. Um, here's our item blocking amulet class, the one with uh, which we spawn the monsters. And we're gonna, first we're going to do... Um, yeah, first we're going to do a consumption. So every time you use the item, one of those items gets consumed. Now, I did add some comments here, so I'm going to release the code. Not today, but like in the future, so there's comments here. But basically, you want if you want your max, st max stack size, you want it to be 1 if you're using durability. So like a pickaxe or something like or like a you know, like if you're using one item and it uses up its own durability, you only want one of those. Um, but if you're doing consumption, you can choose how many items you can stack and then consume. Um, so let, I made the max stack size since we're doing consumption first. I made the max stack size five, so there's going to be five amulets at most in one stack. Um, so this is what you need. You need to change the max stack size depending on if you're doing durability, which would be one, or consumption, which would be either one through 64, depending on how big you want your stack. Now in our item on item right click class, uh, method, you're going to want to add this code right here. Somewhere, it doesn't matter really where, it has to be before the return item stack though. So you're just going to do item stack dot stack size minus minus. All that does is it decreases the stack size by one. And don't forget the semicolon. So I even put a comment here, it says consumes one item. So remember, we have our stack size of 5, and it consumes one item on use. So let's go ahead and look at this. I'm going to use my old world. Here we are. Ooh, it's getting night. Alright, so I have prepared 6 amulets. So let's go ahead and... See, I can't stack them because there's only 5 stack size the biggest. So since we're doing consumption, let's go ahead and use these. Used and see the the stack size decreased by one. So now we only have four of them, three of them, two of them, and one. So that's that's how it is. Um, so I mean that's that's pretty easy, I guess. There's not much to it. So let's exit out of this. And now let's look at durability. Now if you want to give an item durability when you use it, you're going to want to, like I said, get the max stack size to 1, and you're going to want to add this in your constructor. Set max damage, set max damage, M is capitalized, D is capitalized, and in the parentheses, you're going to put a number that you want, like, the number of uses you want your item to have. Now, this number, it's it starts count, counting from 0, so be... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which would be actual, actually equal off to 5 numbers. So I put a comment here that the durability is actually this number plus 1, because it starts counting at 0. So um, I made mine 4 just for just for show. You can make this like 1,000 or whatever you want. But you're going to want to set max size to 1 if you're doing durability. Set max damage to how many ever uses you want, minus 1. And, um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. In our item stack, on item right click method, we're going to comment this one out. And you're going to do item stack dot damage item with capital I, parentheses, one. That's how, like, the max damage, this is pretty much its health. You're saying its health. And here you're going to damage that item by this much. So you're going to just drain it by one every time. There's no reason to, to like make this number higher. You're just going to damage it by one every time. And then you're going to do a comma, entity player, pass in the player that's using it. 
close parenthesis, and semicolon. So that drains one durability. Remember I said the durability is actually this plus one. So um, if we go into the game right now, and we have everything else commented out, okay. If we go into the game right now, I forget to save. If we go into the game right now, I just said that three times, I don't know why. We're going to see um, durability being five. So we, we, we're going to be able to use the amulet five times. So let's go ahead and look at this. All right, we have an amulet right here. So one, you see the bar started dropping. Two, three, four. See, I still have the amulet even though we typed in four. And five, the amulet breaks. There you go. So that's durability. Let me use let me use this one also. Yeah, so I mean these two consumption durability are pretty easy. And I guess that's the whole point of this short tutorial. Some people want it as as suggestions, so you know, I I did that while just I don't know. I just don't have that much time to do this right now because uh the Star Wars, like I'm I'm j i am i was just so excited, I've been anticipating that game for a long time. But I promise there's going to be a lot more modding videos coming out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Put some comments down in the comment section below. Put your errors and suggestions in the Minecraft forum topic in the description below. Do not forget to put it there and don't put it in the comments or don't PM me about it. And um, I think that's all, all I got. So, thanks for watching. See ya.